What's up guys, Nax Tech here and I've been requested to do a tutorial on the USB install for Raspberry MC. So I'm just going to go ahead and jump straight into that. Um, at the moment I've got my SD card and my USB that I'm going to use um, in my laptop. Um, you can see them here, they're both empty. I wiped them both. You can use this program which you can just Google if you want it. SD card formatter. It says SD card format but you can format any kind of drive and I formatted my USB stick and my SD card through this program. It's really quick so it's kind of nice. Um, so yeah, just Google that if you want it, and you're left with your two empty SD cards and USB drives here. Now I'm gonna go over to the Raspberry MC website, which when you put raspberrymc.com and you come to here, hit the download. If you're on Windows, hit the installer for Windows. If you're on Mac, hit the uh, installer for Mac. I am on Windows, so I'm gonna hit that installer. Um, oops, gone too far there. you can get it from here so you click this link it will start downloading it's really small so it's not hard hit the button and you'll have to extract it I'm just gonna go ahead and extract, extract this to my desktop uh, and there you can see it, it's just extracted it there double click the installer so this utility erases all the data on the device you select by imaging so that's what we want now you can see the both the USB device and the SD card turn up. You want to click the SD card and not the USB device. Even though we are installing to USB, you don't want to click it, it'll do it later. So just click the SD card, not the USB. And then click this box that says install Raspberry MC to USB drive. It'll come up with a warning saying do you really want to do this, it's for advanced users only. Hit yes. Hit I accept the license agreement. Hit install. It'll have to download the image and it will start flashing it to your SD card. Um, make sure when you do this that you get a fast USB stick. I actually bought a 16 gigabyte USB 3.0 USB stick with really fast read and write speeds and it really makes the menu zoom through. So I suggest you go ahead and look for a really good USB stick or if you've got one, it's just fine. But I find it, I mean I've had a class 6 SD card and it just wasn't quick enough and my USB stick is so much quicker. So there you go, it's installed to the SD card currently. Raspberry MC is successfully installed to the SD card, hit OK. Alright, close this. And that's it, now I'm going to switch over to my live camera, my actual camera, so you can see what I do next. Okay guys, and we're here, and here's the USB stick that I'm going to install it on. Here's the SD card that I just showed you how to install the image on. So let's go ahead and take both of these, take them over to the Raspberry Pi, wherever yours is. Now uh, this is going to be quite difficult to do while holding a camera, but you insert your SD card as you normally would in the SD card slot as you can see there. If you can see that, it's kind of difficult because it's a black SD card. Oops. There you go, you can see it there. And your USB stick that is going to install Raspberry MC just goes into one of the USB drives here. And there you go, there's your setup USB SD card moving on. Okay, guys, so I've just put the camera on a tripod so it stays still. Um, I'm going to turn it on. The way I'm going to do that is I've got it connected to a remote control power supply using this. Um, Make sure you have your Raspberry Pi connected to the internet because it needs to be. It needs to download Raspberry MC and install it from the internet. So here we go. I'm going to turn it on. And eventually something will happen. If I'm on the right. Here we go. Nice rainbow screen. Which should eventually disappear. There we go, and it starts doing its stuff. Now I'm not going to show you the whole install here, but I am going to show you just this little sign that comes up to make sure it is installing on your USB stick. You can see it's found my network there on the last bit, link up 100 megabits.
I might as well just take a second to explain this while it's doing it. Once this is done, you can't then go ahead take and take out your SD card. It always boots. It always boots from the SD card and switches over to the USB. So you have to have both of them there all the time. So just leave them both plugged in. You can see it's going to take 15 to 25 minutes. And there you go. You can see there, read carefully. Raspberry MC has the text to the USB drive connected. If you do not wish to install this to the drive, power off Raspberry MC within the next 60 seconds. You won't get that screen unless you tick that box in the installer. So like I, like I showed you earlier, make sure you do that. And now it's just going to go ahead and install. And the faster USB you have, the faster it will install. Like I said, I'm not going to show you the whole USB, so I'm going to stop the video here and show you when it's finished. Eventually it will start this. As it says, it's going to take 60 seconds for you to unplug a USB device. And there we go, it starts to install it on your USB drive. Now, as I said, I'm not going to show you this whole thing, so I'm going to skip to the end when it finishes doing it. So, see you guys in a bit. And there you go, guys. After it takes 15 to 20 minutes to install it, it will boot into this screen and you will have your Raspberry MC cell running from the USB stick. I mean, you can test this if you don't think it is running from the USB stick. Just take out the SD card and it won't boot. So it is running. If it says it's running from the USB stick, it will be running from the USB stick. And again, you can see the speed. It's just, I think it's just a lot better. I've got a really fast USB stick. This is running off and it's very, very quick. So as you can see there, we're running at about 40 frames per second at 1080p. So sweet. If you've got any questions, please leave the comments, the questions in the description, sorry, and I'll try and get around to answering them. So yeah, see you guys later.